In one of my earlier videos, I showed you how to obtain the Microsoft Office Suite, that latest version of it, that is, for free. But they had, there was a catch. You had to be online to do it. But what if you only want to take a few notes or organize your thoughts quickly, and you have a newer computer that came with Windows 10, or maybe you recently upgraded to Windows 10? You're in luck. Windows 10 comes with the OneNote app for free. In this video, I'll show you how to use it. Let's get started. So here we are on our desktop. What you're going to want to do is go to the start button, click on it, left click that is, and you'll see the OneNote app on your right hand side. Now, in some cases, uh, you may see the OneNote text, but it might look a little bit different, the icon that is. And the reason might, might be because the more option, the turn live tile off option might be on or off, which uh, if it's uh, selected, this icon might look a little bit different. Uh, for, for some reason, it's not doing it right now, but you might have some additional um, graphics presented on top of it. Uh, just look for the OneNote text uh, on it, and uh, you'll be good. Uh, the other way you could do it also is by clicking the start button and clicking on, I'm sorry, start typing OneNote. And you'll also see it here. And let's go ahead and click on here, on the icon here, and start up the application. Now, it's going to ask you whether you want to set it up with your personal Microsoft account or your work account. Uh, this is a preference depending on what you're trying to do. In my case, I have it for my personal uh, personal reasons. So I'm just going to click on here and it's going to want to sign you up with your personal email address. I actually do have an account uh, with them. Uh, we'll go ahead and type that in there. And then it's going to ask me for my current Windows password, the password that I use to log on to my computer. And it looks like uh, sign into this device using Microsoft account. And yes, I do. Uh, we're sorry, but we're able to take this uh, for since already being used for a different user. Uh, in this case, it's saying that I actually have used this account with another computer. Uh, that's okay. I'm just going to go ahead and click on next. And here you go. Uh, even though it gave me that area, as you can see, I, it, it, it went right through. So pretty much this is it. Uh, I have, if I wanted to uh, take some notes, uh, you have your tabs right here. Uh, you can easily just right click or even rename a section or delete a section. Um, uh, there's a lot of different things you can do here. There's some expl explanations that you can read here uh, on how to get start using the uh, OneNote application, but it's pretty simple. Um, if I wanted to add a new section at the bottom here, I'd create a new section. Let's say if I'm trying to uh, organize, uh, oh, I don't know, let's say I'm taking a class, so I'm taking a math class. Okay, so that's my section. Now if I wanted to uh, title the uh, the uh, page itself, I could say Monday, you know, and then enter the date. Uh, we'll just make up a date here. We'll say just June 1st, 2000. Okay, and let's say I had another class the following week. Uh, I'd say Monday again, and June, what would that be, 8th? Uh, and I just start taking my notes, blah, 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 whatever it is that I want to. Not a big deal. Okay, and that's pretty much it for OneNote. Thank you for uh, tuning in. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Now that you've discovered my channel, Please subscribe and don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you.